I'm Adam Niffin. And I'm Jeremy Cocaine. This is Smith Welding Restoration. Well, this is kind of where we're at. I got this door. The other flip side is ready to go to 400, get cleaned up. I left it like that for overspray sake. So there's overspray underneath. When we 400 it down for sealer, we're ready to go. I spot sealed this with, actually, I sealed this with Etch Prime and jammed it out. <laughs> no big misters there. Let's see here. I'm finishing out the block work on this as there's some areas that need detail. And then I'll flip it over, strip the seals and everything, basically make it look like that one. Uh, these are our side marker lights for our side marker lights. I got the mirrors. I caused a fucking run on the mirrors because I got overzealous. But mirrors are hung up there. Right now Jeremy's cleaning up the paint booth, getting it ready. We're going to get this up on stands, prep up that door hole. This has been taken down to 400. It's ready for sealer. We'll have to prep down. We'll probably just prep right along that line, like was previous done, previously done, and scuff that top surface. Prep the windshield again. You know, basic shit. Pull the wheels. So the goal today is there might be a magical fucking everything goes perfect and we can get sealer base coat clear coat on the tub doubtful uh, tomorrow morning to nib it and go right into base coat clear coat is optimal my goal is I want to get the underside of the trunk lid painted out the edge of the door that I'm blocking right now the inside edge of the door that I'm doing right now jammed out I mean, it's all blocked out and ready for 400 on the face, on the skin side. That puts us in a really good position. We'll have all four wheels out here, so maybe we'll get to cleaning those up later. I have some other shit to take care of too, but we're waiting on materials from our supply house. That would leave me with finish blocking this. Do what very little polyester work will be needed mind you we blocked this once already and then slick sand it again and then I'll flip this over upside down and I'll clean up the bottom side and paint it I'd like to be able to do that tomorrow that would mean the world our ID tags will be gone at this point not much we can do about that Well, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, so I got the doors jammed. I actually have the top of the deck lid and the underside of the deck lid. Let's see if I can roll it up, uh, fucking things up. Deck lid jammed. Top of the deck lid. We will nib it and clear coat it tomorrow. Here's why. It needs nibbed. We may hit it with one more coat of white. Um, the reason I'm not hanging out tonight to just nib it real quick and wipe it down is because of this. I started getting into it trying to wet sand it gingerly and it didn't happen. That was the one run. I got one run right there and I just turned it into a fucking catastrophe. So, walk away. It's a polyester based paint with epoxy under it. So at this point, uh, to walk away from it let it dry up enough overnight. Now, that being said, we're within our window, we're within our time for the products. We'll nib it, and if we get any bad nibs where they reveal, and there's one spot that I'd like to wet sand since we're gonna do it. Uh, if we get any nibs that reveal sealer, or just generally are she looking, instead of shooting that one spot, because it's a white, there's no metallics, no pearl, no candies, just basic 85-54. 
Um, <clears throat> we don't turn up any other issues. We'll spot shoot that one area and then we'll go right into clear coat. But we're gonna pick over it with a fine tooth comb in the morning when we're fresh. Uh, Jeremy had to take off before I was even done. I think it's over for the night before we were done shooting sealer. We got two coats on. Uh, that's where we're at. There we be. Talk to you later. All right, so I fucked up. That's actually painted. I'm gonna have to give it tooth, wet sand it, and then we're gonna put another coat of paint on it because we didn't get it in the clear with everything else. Uh, the last bit of body work to deal with on the Camaro is right in here. And then I've got four little spots that I had to use some filler. So I will guide coat those and block them down so it can be hit with 400 and then sealed. This needs hit with 400 and then sealed and so does that. For that, what we're using is this. Um, interface, hook it, 400, six inch. That doesn't dig into the body work and it gives us it, it gives us the finish that we're gonna have to have to go into sealer. If you don't believe me, let's just, uh, the proof is in the pudding, right? There we go. Laying down nice. No obnoxious texture. Uh, we got probably six runs. <laughs> um, Apparently Jeremy finds white as hard to read as I do, but you know, we're looking good. It gets wet sanded, cleaned up, and it's not done flowing out yet, I don't believe. Anyhow, I just got done, cleaned up the gun. That'll have much better sheen when we get it all wet sanded, but see, we got a big old run like right there. Can't even see it. It's white. There we go. Big old run. We got a few of them. So this is 1980s U28. Looking good in clear coat. This is two big full heavy wet coats. Uh, to go a third coat, <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna improve anything. And we're not gonna wet sand the hell out of it. If you're gonna wet sand the hell out of it, you know, most literature says never go more than three coats. If you're gonna wet sand the absolute piss out of it, make it perfectly flat when you're dealing with a Less than pristine booth. Four coats won't kill you. Uh, you can take that much, you can take a coat and a half worth of material off wet sanding it. Just, you can't leave it all rubbery and thick and get right on it. But I could be wrong in that too. And I haven't put four coats on anything ever to wet sand it out. That's just something I heard in passing, I reckon. Um, Camaro's looking good though. So well, this is the underside of the hood. I wire wheeled it, we feathered some stuff out, we etch primed it, we got etch primer on the edges. We did some repairs, some um, minor repairs here. When we tape this up to paint it, we'll tape it on the inside and paper the whole underside so we can overspray underneath it and get these edges when we shoot it. We'll have to be very careful about that. So all this is gonna get hit with a scotch right along here, this side will get hit with 400, we'll seal it and paint it. So this is a matte finish paint. This is not perfect under here and we know that a uh, blanket covers 90% of it, but the owner really, really wanted to go back with this factory look of the, the black. And this is a satin black we used. I don't know if we nailed it or not, but I think we got damn close. So we got that taken care of. Everything is ready to, well, Flip that over, we 400 it, and prep off the paper that. Flip this over, 400 it, we can seal it and paint it, right? 400 and seal it and paint it. 400, seal it and paint it. This we need to flip over and actually scuff. I have two coats of paint on this already, but we never got to clear coat with it when we were with the car. Let me get a light on in here for you. Uh, we're shiny. This car looks great. Uh, these are the rims and wheels. And we went with a 
satin black for those. If you remember, they were chipped up and really, they're really fucked up. We smoothed out all the rough edges, cleaned them and scuffed them, and shot them with edge primer and then satin black. For these little things like this, we actually do use an SEM uh, rattle can edge primer for it. So this is where we're at. I started peeling back the paper and everything so I can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I'm really satisfied with the body. It's hard enough now. We won't get to start wet sanding and polishing, unfortunately, until Monday. And that's just the way it is. It's, it's Easter weekend. So we've kind of been dashed. We've been grinding and grinding, staying late, doing everything we can to get this accomplished by Friday. Friday's tomorrow. Um, you know, we discussed it on the second. It's original drop dead date. We, we discussed it with the owner. And our hopes of getting it out by the second were dashed just because we, we peeled it open a lot further. We did some billable extras and then we went some further extras that aren't billed but make us really feel better about what we're doing. I don't just want to throw some turd out on the street. I may not be a Camaro guy, but I can absolutely respect them. So, like any woman you respect, you don't just throw them out on the street the morning after. So we'll get it done proper. We'll do a job that not only we can be proud of, we can be proud of showing off and be proud of handing to the owner. And the owner's been awesome. He's really interested in the actual process. Most people drop their shit off and just want it done and gone, and then want to show up like TV two days later and have a whole brand new car here. Um, this owner's been a blast to work with. Most of the owners we deal with are a blast to work with. Uh, that's where we're at on the Camaro right now. Um, we're gonna let the paint on the wheels harden up enough that we can put them back on the car without fucking up the paint on the wheels too bad when we put lug nuts on. So that kind of put us in an arm bar for the day on forward progress. Got the underside of the hood painted, great. Well, it needs to dry enough that we can flip it over and not damage it. So we can sand it out and finish that. Um, tomorrow we aim to have it on its wheels out here, all of its parts in there. All of these parts. We'll wet sand all that down. We'll wet sand all those down. And those go straight into paint. The parts in the booth, they need 400 sealed, then painted. Except for the deck lid I showed you. I had paint, I had product left over, so I utilized it. <laughs> Thinking I could get far enough ahead. That's all right, it doesn't hurt nothing. We don't have a lot of mills built up. Um, RM goes down, less mills, better coverage. I don't know how that math works. I'm not a scientist. I just listen to them and do what they tell me. And it works out great. So we're out of here, folks. I will check up with you when we get back on this Camaro. Call.